Oh, all, all his clothes? Like, all, all of them. Oh, hey, Teresa, you know that feeling you get deep in your seventh, seventh <laughs> stomach? That tingling when you know the teaser trailer of the next installment of your favorite franchise is dropping in 78 hours, 8 minutes and 32 seconds. That warm glowing, this is going to give me so much frick inspiration, even though it's only 10 seconds, feeling of giddy excitement and untapped potential. Wow, that's how I feel about the Yes! Okay. Much like a teaser trailer, I feel like there's so much I need to know. How how do I know Banana Boy is really the monster for me? Help me out here. Picture this scenario, okay? So, I'm out on an epic adventure with Banana Boy, right? And after escaping a near-death situation, we stumble wearily, sweatily, exhausted to get some well-earned rest at the nearest inn. We're greeted by a gruff, rude keeper, innkeeper with the most beautiful butt ever. <laughs> but before I can fantasize about marrying the innkeeper's butt, <laughs> he gives us the keys to our rooms. But whoops, there's only one key and only one room, the only one left. Which means that through this unlikely series, series of events, Banana Boy and I will be forced to share a bed. What would he do? What would he do? What would he do? An excellent question thrice over. One that deserves an equally excellent answer. Banana Boy would blush deeply in Charlie and respectively ask if you're okay with the situation before revealing that he has a rare condition in which all of his clothing disappears at the moment he gets in bed. <laughs> oh man, I don't know how to say this, but Banana Boy has an extreme allergy to the controversial, sensual, and ambiguous situations. He would probably walk to the nearest Ikea and people would say, oh hell no. It's a tough one. Oh, their face. Oh. Oh, oh my word. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, gosh. Oh, all, all his clothes? Like, all, all of them. And he, he would blush first. Like, that's just... Wow, jeez. We can work with that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for this very important information, Teresa. You're as beautiful as that imaginary innkeeper's imaginary. Oh. I am as pretty as a butt. You're as pretty as a, a butt. An imaginary butt. An imaginary innkeeper's butt. It's true, and you just got the plus three charm to prove it. Oh my god. I got Yay! my charm back. I lost you did, it. yes. So you might not actually be too bad then. Well, that happened. Decided. She's basically me, but. I love it. It's great. Yeah. All right, banana boy. Okay, what do we do? Um, I would like. I'd like some money, but I don't know how to get it. Neither. Oh, you can also go to the library. Um, can. Yeah. So she's in the outdoors section right now. You can see her face. Oh. Yeah, so... What the... Oh. That day you spend time in the library PCs mining some Bitcoins. This is supposed to have something to do with solving algorithms and the rise of uh, cryptocurrency. But you guess that nobody actually has an idea how it works. Anyway, you gain plus two Bitcoins, which is equal to plus two million dollars. Which unfortunately is equal to two dollars, two monster dollars. You gain plus two money. Damn it! So that's how you do it. Oh, hey, Banana Boy, I didn't expect to see you here. Don't you love uh, how at Spooky High we have so many friends and you never know who's going to show up to... Oh, gosh. Here's the plan for today, girls. Oh, it's the coming! Joy, hope, and faith. You, you know our names. Of course. It's so cool to see you guys. Say, say the thing, say the thing. Oh, my gosh, that's literally me! It really is! <laughs> You need to cosplay as her. <laughs> what thing? The thing! The thing! You know, you know the thing! Say it! Say it! Say the thing! Oh god! <laughs> She's beautiful! <sighs> We're here to save the world. Ah! <laughs> it's so good! Remember when I was trapped in a totem? Remember that? 
you guys were all like, don't you underestimate what you brought from that shop. Your totem is a god, ruler of the dark realms, an agent, an agent of destruction. We must dispose of the totem before the world suffers. Yeah, sorry about that. No, are you kidding? That was awesome. And then someone stepped in and succeeded or failed at something. And I don't really remember. I went and lived through so many events. And then things in my life, it's hard to keep them straight. But the point is, I'm all fine now. Like, we're on the same team. And I totally ready to join the coven. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't get us wrong, it's nice to someone appreciate how hard we we work to keep the world safe instead of trying to belittle us slash sabotage us, but you can't just... Well, well, well. Oh. Look who it is. We meet again. Who's this hunk? <laughs> Dimitri. Oh, it's Dimitri! Oh, oh my god, my ears. My ears are bleeding. Who are you? What are you? Why are you? Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm a totem. I mean, I was a totem. I was a high school girl. Um, I, no, I, I'm a high school girl. Sorry, I just, oh my gosh. So listen, I know most people are all about that Dimitri life, uh, where they assume that the reason you often turn to the good side before bad again is because of your deep forbidden love for joy. Never. Joy means nothing to me. I feel nothing for her. I feel nothing ever at all. A beautiful manly tear trickles down Dimitri's face as he stares into the distance. <laughs> right. Yeah, totally. But um, I've always been rooting for homie tree. Just as like you're getting together with hope, but like ho, me tree. From, from my fanfic where you're forced to work in a brothel. I'm here for one reason, and one reason only. To take from the coven their cursed bloodstone. I take no pleasure from seeing their smiling faces, and I will take no sorrow in seeing their corpses. One of them's not even smiling. Ah, oh, fine. Okay, coven. How are we going to defeat them? You're not in the coven, Zoe! But at that point, everything around Dimitri has caught fire somehow, and the deadly glow <laughs> lights up the dark with a but very sexy smile. Time to find a way to get out of this whilst, uh, whilst getting Zoe into the coven. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. Um, you should all lick Dimitri's abs because of reasons. <laughs> Let's join the coven by using, like, the coven. We must defeat Dimitri in the classic way, yelling cliched but powerful hero heroic one-liners. I feel like she'd like to do that one, but that won't get her in the thing. Yeah, she wants to join the coven. Right, right, right. Yelling things does seem to be the one of their more effective moves. That's so reductive of the hard work we do saving the world. You don't care. Most of the work they do interrupts these sweet, sweet prom shenanigans you engage in to try to woo one of your most charismatic classmates. So you chump in your best coven impression. Justice will triumph. We're here to save the world. Friends before fiends. Okay, those were actually pretty good. Ha! Pretty good indeed, as good is exactly what I intend to destroy. And also, I'm very pretty. So, there's that. Through your dark soul, you may snuff out our light, but we will always light the match of truth and goodness. Oh, I want to try. Can I try? Let me try. Vile creatures of darkness. So he opens her mouth and blood gushes forth, flooding the room. Oh, uh, th here's another good one. She opens her mouth again and a swarm of scarabs flies onto Dimitri. What? No! My precious corporeal form! I shall not be eaten by bugs! Not today! These creatures will not consume my flesh. The, m the way my heart was once consumed by. No! It's the past now, never again. Darkness is my calling. That was horrifying. Horrifyingly awesome. Actually, yes. I guess you cannot be an horrible cover member for today, at least. Woohoo! And uh, that's all thanks to you, Banana Boy. Can't wait to have more common adventures. Wow, that might actually not be terrible. Maybe did Zoe just make the coven call? For now, at least you know what else is called plus two charm plus one bad. Your daddy. Yeah, boy! I got no money from that, though. Yeah, oh, yes, did. I did. Woo! You earned money at the start of it. All right, where are you off? 
Hmm. Um. Ooh. Maybe some more creativity. All right. That day while rehearsing for the class play, you totally forget your lines. It's terrible, but you don't let it get you down. You start improvising all your lines, and it's marvelous. Somehow it enhances the path of the play in unexpected ways. And that's saying something, since half of your improvisation is a rap battle against your inner fears. You gain plus two creativity. Yay. I got anxiety. I'm going to smash it. Buy it. <laughs> Why won't people buy my things? <laughs> Why won't people buy me? I got anxiety. Depression is my mess. Don't be messing with depression. Good job. Shh. Okay. You finally him storming out of the dressing room, still wearing his very fancy costume. He goes straight to Vera while she sits in the audience as usual, judging people. You've got to help me, Vera. Art is in jeopardy. Help you? Please, I signed up for drum uh, a dramaturge specifically because it allowed me to criticize people without doing any real work. You may return to your calculated apathy immediately after helping me sign underground supergroup Yogurt Resort to score our play. You want Yogurt Resort to score our play? The ones who did help me, I'm drowning in tractors. I hate to admit it, but that's actually a very cool idea. The fact that someone besides me knows about the Yogurt Resort only makes me slightly less excited about this plan, which should tell you how important this is to me. How are you going to pay for that, though? Ugh. That's exactly what the director said. Everyone is trying to be to smother my artistic spark beneath the boot heel of capitalism. It appears that I must make some concessions to the invisible hand of the market if I am to realize my dream. Yeah, I definitely want this to happen, Liam. We have to figure out how. Okay. Oh. Have a bake sale, but with cocaine instead of baked goods. Oh. Tell them we're all orphans and that this is a charity event. <laughs> I don't see them going for the bottom one because he wouldn't want to be considered an orphan. Neither would she. Yeah, she but wouldn't... I don't. He's not about money. Yeah. He he just said he's not about money. Hmm. So getting it as a charity thing might be something. And she's all about business and earning oh, money. No, she's all about not having to do any work for, for, for free money. So yeah, it's probably it's the charity one. Well, if there's one thing I've learned being an orphan is that people will give you all kinds of things for free out of sheer pity. You're actually an orphan? Wow, I feel so ashamed. Yes, I'm very offended. And wow. that the only thing that can make it better is a tray of cupcakes and a solid gold ingot. Okay, all right, I'll go ahead. Wait, wait a second. You see, it works every time. You're some kind of evil genius. I'll draft a press release. Once work gets out, the spooky high school is full of orphans. You get all kinds of free stuff. Being an orphan rocks. Wow. You get plus two bonus, plus one money. Oh, well, you did it. I know, but it was the correct answer. That's what I mean. You did it. <laughs> did it. Yay. Go me. All right. Oh, we're on week three. Yep, we're nearly there. 